attracting a lot of attention, even from afar. Oh, there's a one star skeleton. Good. Exactly what I needed. Yeah. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode number, actually two, adventure from the world of Valheim. Now, if you recall from the last episode, I did find the Black Forest, uh, eventually. It took us a long time because, well, it wasn't near the coast and I didn't find the coast because we're somewhere on a large island and I don't know where I am. But we did find this small hut and uh, also we found the Black Forest and a cool spot for our uh, next base. Might be the permanent base, I honestly don't know yet. But yeah, let's get the bow going and... Hope not to die, because like I said, when I'm dead, I'm, this is gone. I'm gonna delete the world and everything, but we're gonna have the recording and maybe start something else. So I'm gonna follow this road because we I wasted a lot of time creating it, so I might as well use it. A bit away from the dark forest, but not too far away, so we don't get lost. Now, uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of things in this episode. Set, set the base and everything, get the base going and uh, maybe do even a little bit of uh, black first exploring. I need to get the fine wood in this episode. So that's really important for me. Okay, now wait, there's a, uh, there's a boar right there. So I might have to take him out. Oh, come on, that was almost a shot. You suck. Well, actually, I suck. You just follow. <laughs> okay, that was... That's a deer and everything. Come on. I'm just here for... I think we're almost full. What's my... Oh, my God. My care weight is almost... Goes... It's gone. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Where do I want this small house? Because I've been working on a small house project. You can find the video on my channel. And I'm going to build it. I'm gonna build it here. This looks like a good spot for it. Just gonna flatten this really nice. Oh, look, the bird. I need a bird. You can wait, Mr. Grayling. You're going that way. Now I got you. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I got you while you're moving. That's gonna give me some extra bonus. But yeah, um, I wish... I wish the developers actually changed the fact that when you're when you're um, hunting birds for some stupid reason, and sometimes they're hard to get, hard to hit, and stuff like that. But when you're hunting birds, those don't count for your uh, bow skill or whatever skill you're using, whatever uh, what weapon you're using. And actually, that's a really really sad and unfair, if you ask me. Now let's see. I'm gonna need some chests for depositing all the crap that I've gathered so far. So I'm gonna place them right here because I really don't care about these. I just need... Let's set them in a certain order at least. So there, that's that. That's one chest. Here's for the second one. And all the crap can go in there. Ooh, I'm kinda running low on arrows. I'm gonna th have to throw this away. And set the bees going. Get the bees going. Uh, Wait. Okay, so so many things need to pa need to happen. Oh, what what happened here? Oh, I might have gotten the deer and forgot about these guys. Oh yeah. Now, honestly, I feel sorry for uh, getting rid of them, but it needs to be done because these guys will actually spoil my uh, my bee farm. Okay, so first things first. I was near the water and I forgot to dump stuff. I'm always dumping stuff in the water. Don't do this in real life. We're gonna pollute everything. <laughs> but uh, they did spot in this game, so we're good. Look at this guy. Man, you're lost. You're lost in space and time. That was a bad shot. But this bow is not known for its accuracy. There we go. And you wanna have, if you're gonna play this with a bow and arrow, you wanna have as high bow skill as possible, so. I'm gonna attempt to get the root armor before anything, because that will give us plus 15 bows. So imagine that you're at le uh, level 16. 
or level 60, pardon me, in the bows. And you're just getting a plus 15 upgrade. Look at the amount of enemies on the hardcore. Man, you wouldn't have had this on, uh, on the normal one. And I'm also kind of running low on arrows, so must be really careful here about how I spend them. But we're going to go for some wood because I need to upgrade. Yeah, we need to start doing the upgrade stuff. We need to upgrade our gear. We need to upgrade every single thing. So uh, first things first, I'm going to create an improvised hut. Like the very... Ooh, that was a two star and I just missed it. Well, that's unfortunate. I just spotted the collar because they're a little grayish. Look, like, there's another one. Just in case you were wondering, but this one didn't spot us. So if you're behind a small tree like this one, like the small beech tree, for some reason they don't spot you. Yeah, also when farming wood, try to position yourself in between. Or when you're... Um, I don't have a lot of wood here. When you're um, mining for stuff, try to position yourself between chunks so you can uh, hit two at a time. That will significantly improve your effectiveness. Oh boy, but we have a... Yeah, we kind of have a thing going here. Okay, so let's see. More wood, more wood. Um, I could have moved the chests in here, but for some reason I'm not concerned about that. You can go in here, you can go in here. Although this one is a bit full up on this, on stuff. Yeah, so let's get the, bee go the bees going and everything else. Okay, now... Where do we want the bees? Where do we want the bees? We want the bees here. Near the Black Forest, yeah. So they have a reason to come and destroy them. <laughs> okay. Good, so let's see. Um, I'm also gonna need a chest for the wood in here, but why do I keep the wood in here? Damn, that's dumb. Just, just dumb, just dumb, dumb, dumb. I need the wood for construction. Okay, let's see. Now, the first thing I wanna do is, oh my goodness, save. Because I haven't saved in a while. How do we fare on the arrows? Not good. But we have more wood here. Let's go grab some arrows first. And then worry about everything else. Yeah, let's go for around 80. Yeah, that'll do. I'll wait for the rest of the buff. I do need to go and grab some more uh, flint. So we can start the uh, actually upgrading the bow and everything. Because I'm not gonna build to start building anything unless I have my upgrades. And this is what you should do too. Oh, come on. Forgot about the wood. Oh. Okay, hold hold E. Hold E and then the everything will go to its Designated location. Look at that. There's so many deer now. There, there are like a ton of them. Is that a two star? Okay, so um, I might have to do this because otherwise I'm going to spook all of them. So that's one. Oh, that was a bad shot. Was that a two star again? What's happening here? Come on. Well, that's a one star. Okay, this is stupid, honestly. Let me just... Oh, yeah, you're done. Now we're gonna have food for days. I don't even have to hunt anything. Well, this is so much easier. The last time I played this, I tried to do it with uh, without the bow. So uh, that's, that will be the next challenge, honestly. And I won't give up on it. Trust me, I won't give up on the challenge. I just need to find the right mechanics and calculations to do it. So no bows. That will be a challenge with no bows. We're gonna I'm gonna attempt to finish this challenge with the bow. I don't know if that's possible honestly because So yeah, let me get rid of the deer and start gathering the important resources, but those deer were too tempting. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how far into this challenge we'll go, and then we're going to talk about uh, different... Okay, no items to stack. Really? 
I'm getting full up on stuff right here and we haven't even started playing properly. Yeah. You know what? Let me let me let me change something in here. I'm gonna have this like a small meadows chest. There we go. And I place the food in here. We're very very well organized. All the food stuff will go in here. This will be a weird chest with everything. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm gonna have this in here and these two in there. Good. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, so let's go for for the main reason why we're here because I need the upgrades and I need the feathers. Oh my god. So yeah, playing the bow is a bit uh, different from any other build they want to do in this game. Well, you have only two builds. I wish they add the mage class early. That would be amazing. So you have two builds right right now. You might have three in the future if they decide to give us some mage weapons for goodness sake in early game i asked them but i got no reply i got no reply because i'm not important enough obviously but if we do have a mage class early on that would be amazing honestly like not even gonna lie oh mr boar please don't get in my way i really don't want to fiddle with you now also, that goes the same for the next down there. So let's see. We need we need a lot of land. I might need to go over thirty here because I don't want to spend my days gathering flint because I need it for the axe and all the upgrades. Oh look, there's the welcoming committee again. This guy can just not get enough of me. Okay. Some more here. Just waiting for the next to go away. I don't have to I don't want to kill them, but I might have to because they don't seem to go away fast enough. Oh, there's a lot of flint here. Not with the double resources and all. But yeah, this kills some of the grind. So it's a welcoming uh, bonus. Okay, I might need to get wet for those. Oh, I actually might not need to get wet for those, unless the tide is going to come, and which I feel is going to do it very soon. Okay, we might have enough. I don't have enough stone, though. Now let me get the plane, too. Why not? Since we're at it. Okay, some extra stone here, some extra flint here. Yeah, I know. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's start crafting, friends. Oh, some extra flint here. What's this? Now we have flint for days. I don't even have to be worried about that. I usually get all the flint and the stone in the second day if I find the black forest in the first day. I also managed one time to build my first house in the second day, so... But it depends on the world spawn and what you get. On this world, we got a really shitty start, but then things started to look up. Come on. Once we found this beautiful patch of land, it's a really flat land for our building. I'm gonna need a bit of tending too, but it's relatively flat. And it's gonna be great for uh, any black forest building. Okay, now that we have these, let's get started and... How much? Oh, I have... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're huge into this. Oh, we can get, have this. We can have this. I have the feathers going there. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Can we go like this? I can have the rug in here. It's very fortunate you find one of these houses before building. Save you some time. Now look at this. We will have the we have all the upgrades needed. I don't have the where are my resources at? There we go. So let's grab the 50 ones. There we go. I can also do some fire arrows, and that would be a smart thing to do. Because we're near the black forest, but how do we do this? Do I get the fire arrows? No. I don't think I should do with that. 
Let's see. Let's upgrade the flint axe, meanwhile, and the bow. Because these are the more important items. We can get the hammer, the hoe. Those are easy. Next level bow. Can we get next level flint axe? Amazing. Yeah. So we're good on upgrades right now. If we get the gear, the leather gear, that would be great too. Not that this helps you with anything, because if you're getting struck by something big like a troll, you're a goner either way, so... <laughs> it's just for uh, looks and aesthetics and lower monsters. Uh, lower level monsters. Or not lower level, but... Weaker monsters. So the trolls, yeah, the trolls are really powerful. Really powerful in this, uh, in this game. Where's my flint? Where do I put the flint? In here. Let's get the stone in here too. We gotta have to get rid of that. And give a save in a while. But now we should be fine. We should be fine. I got the bow, I got everything. Up until I get the next bow. Okay, let's throw this away so it can just spawn in peace and quiet. But yeah, today is running out. Kind of running out of time here for today. So I might need to get the wood going and have a chest in here. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, really? A bed? Okay, we can have the bed there. How's the fire going? Not good. Might as well. Come on. Just don't step into the fire. Yeah, let's leap on it and we'll see what the next day brings to us. So we survived this fire. It's, it's pretty cool. We thrive. We thrive, we're thriving. But oh boy, we have a long adventure ahead of us. Okay, early next day, let's get the food going. Might have to start cooking some food. That would be a smart thing to do right here. So let's just do that. Eight of this, and eight of this. Also gonna need some extra arrows. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, so this is the thing with the archer build. You always have to be worried about arrows. I wish they could add some uh, item that will have you, like, an infinite quiver. That would be a cool thing. Having a magical quiver, right? Not an infinite quiver, but... To have that property would be amazing. Not have to worry about the arrows every single time. Okay, everything cooked. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we got the deer of the boar meat. Now we have to wait for the deer meat. And now I can go and grab wood and start the base going. Now we'll only start building this base once I have this chest filled with wood. Because you kinda need a lot of it. Especially for the chests, for the storage compartments. The house itself doesn't require that much wood because it's an easy house. Oh I need that bird so bad. And I missed it, come on. Okay, good luck on the next one. But this is another good reason to be near a coastline, because obviously you're gonna get a lot of birds. But yeah, right now we're concerning about where I'm concerned about the wood. And all the pesky little railings that are gonna come into my way. 17 level in bows, which is good. This is good so far. Might as well place this here so I can see all the wood. I'm gonna split them even like that so I can see when I'm full because I kinda know where I'm full. You can only have around, at this carry weight, you can only have around uh, 130 wood on you depending on the rest of the items you're gonna carry. But yeah, with the archer you're gonna have to carry arrows will uh, increase your carry weight a bit. But also I'm guessing if you're gonna carry a sword and shield and stuff like that or a mace and shield, Come on, that was close. And there's another one down there. See, this is why I said I should get the fire arrows going, because those will be one shots for these guys. But it's pretty fast, so not gonna worry about that. So we're gonna spend the most time of today gathering wood for the house. So feel free to skip around like uh, maybe five to eight minutes. If you wanna go jump straight to where the house is building. I think this will take me around five minutes to gather all this wood. 
But luckily, the forest is close by. We have the double res. Resources. So yeah, when I'm cutting wood, I'm going literally aiming for the small trees for the max uh, wood per hit ratio. And I'm positioning myself in between two, like this. And as you can see, we have a ton of wood already. Yeah, we're good. We're full. We'll throw up on wood. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm gonna have to do this road three or four times. And we'll be we'll be just fine. So there you go, all the wood in there, all the resin in here. I'm gonna need a ton of resin, so I'm not gonna throw away not one bit of it. And there are a lot of advantages I said before for clearing the forest. You're gonna spot your deer and your boar um, better if you're gonna do this. I'm gonna use the zoom out here a bit so we can see what we're doing. One second. Okay. What? The what? This tree <laughs> just refuses to go down. Rightfully so. And this will be full since I'm going for branches too. Look at this. There's a lot of wood in here. Yeah, because um, they yield two wood. And honestly, I'm going to need all the wood that I can get my hands on super early. Okay, that was that was a mess. But we're we're, ne we're nearly there. I'm just gonna have to do this twice. Twice more. Come on, two more runs. Fast. Go back to the house. Get the wood going. But once we have the base done, I'm gonna add a bit of a, a bit of defense against the, uh, for the base. We'll have some defenses going. How much wood? There we go. Two more runs, as I said. Should do the trick. Let's save. Because this game has crashed on me before and I don't want to lose the progress. There's nothing more frustrating than uh, having to do stuff all over again just because the game crashed. Especially, I don't know for you guys, but uh, after the large updates like this one, the Ashlands, the game is a bit more unstable. But they usually fix it in the coming patches, they always did. I'm gonna clear every single thing there, that was uh, annoying here. Let me split there, okay. There's a lot of birds that I can't hunt right now, but there's the one that just landed there. Oh, look at that, oh man. That's a goner. Oh, no, I got it. Actually, that was really close. But honestly, I'm gonna need a lot of feathers, because you can go, if you're gonna play normal Vaiheim and you want to do bow only or stuff like that, you can usually go um, underprepared in the dark first. But not here, not in the hardcore. Now, if you don't have fire arrows in the dark first as an archer, you're kind of wasting your time in there. The skeletons are resistant to pierce, so um, they're only weak to flame. So only the flame will do damage to them. The flaming attacks. They're not weak to the flaming attacks. Or are they? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't checked them. But they're um, they're taking a big chunk of damage whenever you're hitting them with fire attacks. I think they might, have, might be. And we're close up on wood too. So let's see this one here. And we should be, yeah, fine. So one more run. I'm gonna rest quickly and one more run. And then uh, we should be A-OK -okay in terms of wood even to when it comes to the storage. Yeah. Let's just rest in here. Come on. Give me the rest of Venus. There we are. But oh boy. If we manage in the third day, the third game day, actually, I think this is the third game day. Yeah. To get the house going and the defenses going. Not like I need the defenses because I'm not going to confront any raid. I'm just going to run from them because they're a waste of time. I don't need those resources that much. That will be huge to get the, all these resources so early on. Now, I'm going to take the risk and farm this close to the Bark Black Forest. And hopefully nobody's going to notice me. Because when you're making noise, usually the enemies from the forest will hear you. And basically any enemies. Because they don't spawn 
near you to just spawn around you. Look at that, there's one coming, and thankfully it's just a grayling. So they hear a noise, they come gonna come near you. You can decrease the spawn rate, honestly. You can decrease the spawn rate by creating structures like fire and stuff like that, and uh, workbenches all over your area. But at the same time, you're gonna decrease the spawn rate of your uh, boar and deer, and I don't want that. See, I want the boar and the deer so we can get food and other items off of them. So raids... Raids have a higher chance of spawning when you're spending a lot of time in your base. You're gonna see, whenever when we're gonna start building the base, we're gonna have a lot more raids. Look at that. He's just going for the bees. He's just going for the bees. I thought he was gonna go for the bees. But I guess that was a nice boar, and now I feel bad about getting to it. Getting to show him the tip of my arrows. Okay. 95. There we go. So we can start the base building now. I'm really enthusiastic about it. Do we get one more chunk of wood? Yeah, we kind of could. Let's just go for one more run of wood. And then we're going to have wood for days. Wood for days. So one goes in here and one goes in, in this one. It's a bit confusing for me early on. I always love a good storage system, because if you don't have that, the game will just punish you accordingly to your uh, lack of organization and yeah, lack of organizing things. Disorganized. Okay, look at that. This map honestly is great. There's a lot of abundance of uh, beech trees in these forests. But yeah, another huge thing would be finding the traitor. Actually, not even gonna worry about that, because finding the traitor is such a rare thing on Hardcore that it ha never happened to me. I tried to play this um, three or four times now, right? So, uh, Hardcore, Permanent, and Death, and I died. But I only died because I tried the melee build. So I tried to play the, the melee challenge only, and that didn't go as well. Didn't go that well. And honestly, every single time I died, I died because um, I took a stupid risk, like an extra hit or something like that. Dodge rolling, dodge rolling, and I... Just when I thought the enemy was gonna go down, I risked another hit to get him down, and that was it. Or because um, I accidentally attacked a troll, so the troll was down there and I was on a slope like this, and when I hit him with the spear, um, I missed one shot, and then I went for the second one, and I missed time to dodge roll, so... Yeah, the game will punish you for that uh, really fast. Okay, so let's get the build going. I want my... Uh, I want my forest to... My, well, my windows to overlook the dark first, so we're gonna build it like this. But there you go, that's your living quarters. So if, you're gonna, if you want to see this build, you can watch me building it here, but I'm not going to explain it this much here. So I will explain it. I have another video on the channel, so feel free to check it out about this build. It's called the Tiny House, Valheim Tiny House Project. So I'm just going to go with it here. I also made some improvements to this build, meanwhile. So we're just going to extend these sides. Okay, now we're good. Now we can start working on the chests and the storage area. There goes your bed. So basically, yeah, you're living in a 2x2 two two living area. Oh, look at that bird. Look at that bird. Come on, come on, come on, Mr. Seagull. There we go. Give me your precious feathers and your precious loot. Okay. Now we can start working on the roof. So small roofs here for the storage units, large roof for the main house. I'm gonna have to do this right now before I forget about it because I kind of do every single time. So there's we have now we have a roof going. 
I can start working on the windows, some sort of a window system here. It's gonna be a real weird window system, but they're windows. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh boy, look at that. That looks like the future. Honestly, if this is how the future looks, I'm gonna... I don't want to be in the future. Okay. Now we're gonna carry too much on us. Actually, let me get rid of this. And see, like, we're not... Oh, come on. We're still carrying too much. It's fine. We're near it. Let's save. We're near the house. Actually, let me get some... I need... How much do I need for this? So, two, four... And then I need four more. Eight? Do I need only eight resin? I don't know, honestly. Let's see. There's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, only eight resin. Okay, we're good. Now we have some light in there. Let me take care of the fire. So there's your fireplace. And there's your chimney. We're gonna extend this and we're gonna make it look nicely like this. Come on. Just snap. Just snap. Okay, we're gonna add that there. Let's take care of a bit of the aesthetics. So we have this covered there. We're gonna have the storage unit for the kitchen here. We're gonna have two chests filled with all sorts of delicious food. Now, I ideally you should have four chests here for food and storage, but these two will do for now. We're gonna have only two chests in there. Okay, let's take care of a bit of the aesthetics. So that goes there. That goes there. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like a weird ass fortress. Flying <laughs> flying fortress or something like that. Okay, so I now need to get on top of it. So we can work on the chimney. Okay. So this will be our chimney. I'm just gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna do anything fancy here. Um, can I squeeze this in there? Top. There we go. Is this the right one way to do it? I don't know. I guess we're gonna see. So there's for the. Let me grab this. Roof. Okay. Um. Do I? Am I gonna go need this? Or do I leave it open like this for the smoke? No, I'm gonna leave it open, even if it looks weird. So for the smoke, so the so can so the smoke can uh, actually get out faster. That looks weird. Let me just add these there. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, Nelly. Oh, Nelly, we're good. Let's grab some stone and get the fire going. Get rid of this. And once I'm done with the storage units and everything, we can have some fun. We can start uh, working on the... Oh, actually, let me start working right now. I'm gonna need five coal. So let's turn the necktails into coal. So that's why we kind of need the necktails. Use them for coal. Okay. Let's get the storage units going inside. So I think it's there's this is plenty of storage all the way up to the swamp. You're gonna have a lot of storage in here. If need be, you can also include the swamp, although I don't encourage you. I, I, by the time you move to the swamp, you should have the bigger base. And I'm gonna post a video soon about a bigger base some variant of this base it will be still small but large <laughs> you're gonna see <laughs> and you're gonna have a lot of space in that one i'm gonna promise you that a lot of space with not a lot of work so if you're first up for efficiency and not amazingly beautiful builds now this is the place for you i don't do amazingly beautiful builds because those take a lot of time I mean, yes, it's fancy just to brag about your builds and show everyone how uh, how much of a good builder you are. But honestly, I don't care for that. I just, I'm just here to play the game. So every single time I get a good idea, I'm going to share it with you. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna try and fix this. I have some sort of form of uh, OCD, but it's not that bad. <laughs> like when I see a pen that's not in the right, not set in the right way, I'm, gonna, I'm not just gonna go for it and change its location. <laughs> it's not that bad, so. It's just a, some sort of variation of the disease. It's not actually a disease, it's a disorder. Okay, so that's enough for today. Let's just get to the rest. Let's just get some sleep. I can still do another 20 minutes, so another full day of work before ending this episode. Just checking my time here. Let's get the feathers. There are just some feathers in here. Okay, we're now looking decent at honey. We're not actually thriving on it, but it's fine. Can I get this? Oh my god, my cat is doing weird stuff in the house. By that I mean doing something stupid. Okay, wait a second here. I need to grab... There we go. These two chests. Honestly, I wish I had more... Uh, more storage for the kitchen area, but this will do. I can go a bit lower here and add two more chests, and maybe we'll do that if these two will get too full too soon, so I don't even see what I'm doing here is this dark. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for um, have to wait to get a bit brighter outside, because I can't see anything in there. Oh, we don't. I didn't even have started the bed. Yeah, this doesn't matter. So, <laughs> setting your spawn point doesn't actually matter in this game, <laughs> because once you're gone, uh, you're gone for good. Now there was another guy who played. I watched his videos. Who played the hardcore series, and he tried to see how far he can go by playing the dark, uh, the dark Rye. Okay, <laughs> the hardcore series. But he had a different approach to this, and by different approach, I mean uh, he died a lot. And each time he died, he just would start everything from scratch or using um, some of the items that he had left in his chest, basically struggling, going around for enemies with no armor on and everything like that. And honestly, it was a really s stupid struggle, if you ask me, and it was totally not worth And eventually he gave up because he couldn't uh, progress. He lost everything and he had nothing to progress, nothing, left, nothing else left to progress. So let's color these white. Color equal W I T. So once you once you put your E in here, this thing will disappear. So let, let's hit the E key. So now it says color white is just gone. Press your right arrow once and start writing. So I'm gonna go vegan here, and then meat. And now you have right. You have uh, the white writing, and you you can see this. Okay. So uh, hold on. Let me put it here. So you can see. Oh, so it disappears there too, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna have in here ingots, if we're gonna make it to ingots <laughs> and gold. Let's have in here wood, stone, and some miscellaneous objects. Good. In here we have the meadows and the black, black forest items. Okay. In here we can have uh, um, tools, arrows, and maybe potions. I don't know. These are all uh, big plans, but honestly, I don't know if we're ever gonna make the make it to there. Okay, now we have some sort of uh, storage system going on here. I can start tearing, tearing through things, like through this house, for instance. This is one of the largest houses, and the one that yields the most uh, wood in the game. So if you're fortunate enough to come on... Uh, come along uh, and find one of this. Hold on, let me see. I need the stamina back. I'm surprised that there's no troll here. 
But uh, every single time I say something stupid like that, a troll will appear out of nowhere. But yeah, this is basically free wood for you, so easy wood. Hold on, let me get the... Where's the chest for this stone? There we go. I'm gonna have to move all the upgrades and the workbench to the other side. Let me get the deer rug too. And yeah, we can destroy these, why not? Might as well. I think we can carry every single... No, we're not. Come on. Okay, let's get the crafting. So we can do this. I'm usually gonna place this here. To my top right corner. Okay, I don't have enough for this. Just because I have a ton of wood on me. Let's grab these. And now we should be... We should be okay. There we go. Now we have the two crafting station. We have all the upgrades going. I'm gonna need more arrows. Okay, let's plant the rug in the house. And look at this. We made some progress. See, if you have a plan like this... You're not wasting time. You're really efficient. Now we have the house going. The smoke looks great. Yeah, this is the only upgrade that I missed in my tiny house project. So, actually, I closed that area up. Don't close it up. So, the, the smoke will accumulate there. And I thought it will just despawn at that point. But it doesn't. And you will be you will have smoke on your door and inside the house. That will be a bit stupid. Okay. We have some wood. Now... What I would love to do is, hold on, let me grab, kind of a, grab the hoe there, is to flatten it, to extend the base area like this. So I have a place for future um, crafting stations and stuff like that. Now, oh, is that flat? You can always, always look to see if it's flat. You have an indicator like this, see? You have a vertical line there. So this is flat-ish, and that's obviously not flat. So you can always check for your, uh, like here, to see if your uh, ground is flat. Now, honestly, um, unfortunately, I have to delete these. Because they will be destroyed in anyway if I'm going to start flattening this area. Same thing goes for the chests. There we go. I was sure that was gonna happen, but doesn't matter because we're gonna use um, we're gonna place the loot inside. Now the bees. Honestly, I want the bees outside of the base. I don't want them in the base because I hate that buzzing sound. So they can stay right down there. I don't care. Closer to the dark forest. Even if they get destroyed. It's fine. So we're just gonna flatten further until we have a nicer area. I can't do anything about this. I have no pickaxe. See, so yeah, another thing would be, and I think I talked about this in the last episode. Don't start finding Ike here, especially if you're doing hardcore series. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you? Why would you complicate your existence? So don't fight Ike here until you are willing and ready to uh, start farming hold on let me get the wood going here when you're ready you have farming um, copper and tin so only then but other than that you shouldn't let me get this wood too like there's no reason why you should start farming uh, how, how do we do this okay one go there we go Start getting Ikthir going, actually. Start killing Ikthir. So don't kill Ikthir. Because then you will have a lot of unwanted raids. And not only that, but you're gonna have the stupidest of them all. Because the ones with the Shaman and the Brute. So uh, after you kill the Ikthir, you're gonna have really complicated raids. So unless you really want a hard time in this game. So an excessively hard time in this game. <laughs> because it's hard either way. You should stay away from raids. Uh, from uh, Ike here. At least for now. Can I get the next ones? Can I get them? Come on. Yeah, we can. We don't have that many resources. So I was like a little surprised there that I couldn't. Uh... Yes, we're full up on deer meat, so 
No more deer for us. I couldn't stack them. I do need to hunt more boar. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm struggling with the... Okay, that's a problem. Honestly, that's a problem. Please start stacking them. Thank you. See, you can do this. Okay, we have now 10. Wow, we have 10. We're good. I'm going to keep them for the troll armor, honestly. I don't want to waste those. But I'm going to need some wood inside. So let's see. Let's grab a bit of this wood. Or should I go for one more run of wood? Let's just go for one more run because it's... What the heck? It's double resources and it's easy. Easy to get. Um, first things first. Let's get these in here. Let's get the gold going in there. And let's go for some wood, actually. Yeah. This will be a better idea. So we can fill that chest with wood. And then we can work on the base. Actually... Now we're good. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this. Hold on, and then we're gonna get some core wood because I'm going to do some gate farming. But we don't need that much core wood, but never hurts to have it in the chest. I will need to find a way back to the stones. I have this road that will lead me back to the stones, but I feel like it's a really a long way. So I'm gonna need some kind of a shortcut. So later on, I'm gonna, just gonna look around for any other monsters. Oh, come on. I only have one headphone on, so I can hear myself talking. So I'm not screaming at you. <laughs> okay. So later on, I will need to get a better road back to the stones. Because the one that I have now, as I said, is a really long way. And given the fact that the stones... So this road, this road goes there. See, as you can see, the road goes there and then goes somewhere like there. So, um, in my theory, if I go from my house around there, I should find the stones. I should find them and uh, I'm going to need a faster road to the stones. It's not that you're going to visit them that often, because you are actually not. But you should be, you should be ready and have a road prepared anytime you need to go there and uh, deposit a trophy of boss trophy you should have the road going and everything should be smooth and now I'm getting too close to the black forest for my own comfort and I need just one more swing and I promise I'm gonna leave I'm leaving baby let's go <laughs> I'm gonna look to see if I haven't aggroed anything stupid and large and blue because I really don't want that happening okay Let's eat, and we should be... Let me get rid of this. We still have nine minutes. Let's go for some core wood. Now, here's where the fun begins, because now I'm going for the core wood. And if I didn't... Come on. If I didn't aggro anything so far, I might just do that now. I'm also don't, not so happy about the amount of arrows that I have. I'm paying a very, very close attention to the edges. So like here on the slopes, oh, the day is almost to an end. But okay, let's see. I also want, yeah, so this was inevitable. Oh, that was such a, whoa. Okay, you're gonna get it. Oh, you don't get it. And there's a bird there. I'm just gonna need the loot for another bird from that bird. Oh, please, 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 please. Let me. Yes, yes. That was more important to me than anything else. I'm gonna be super quiet. I'm just listening to everything around me. If I could just find a boat, but you don't find a boat unless you have a dark forest that's close near and has a lot of beach. So dark forest with a lot of beach. Those little small gulfs. Come on. So there are situations when the dark forest uh, has... Oh, there's a skeleton coming. See, as you can see, you are, you are uh, attracting a lot of attention, even from afar. Oh, there's a one-star skeleton. Good. 
exactly what I needed. Come on. Come on. I'm just focusing here. If I miss one arrow, I'm gone. If I miss time. Oh, really? Now it's a normal one. Wow, that was so close. That was so stupid of me. Wait for his attack first, then shoot him. What am I doing here without any flaming arrows? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for Corbett. With risking my life for Corbett, is it worth it? No, definitely not. So I would advise you against it, unless you know what you're doing. Oh, that's a dungeon right there. That's a burial chamber right there. So I might need another tree. Let's see. I can see there's some sort of a mound there. So the terrain is slightly higher. And it has a nice and a perfect shape. Circular. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now we have two guys. Where did these come from? Wow, that was so bad of me. Okay, let me focus here. Okay, you're gone, and I'm not worried about you. But yeah, I'm gonna work for the... In the next episode, I'm gonna work for the next bow, because this is this is dangerous. We're gonna get the next bow, we're gonna get the fine wood bow. Now that we have the core wood too. And we're full up on that. Come on. Look at that. Now do I come back here once more? I think I don't need to. No, I don't need to. So I'm gonna quickly wrap things up and gonna... Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> Every time I go in the Black Forest, I'm underprepared. Look, there, there are a lot of animals around the base. For some reason. Okay, we do have the core wood now. We can stack. We have a have. We can have need. We can have a core wood stack right there. We're gonna use it, but first let's gonna go. Let's go inside and deposit everything that needs to be deposited. And also, I'm gonna need some wood inside the house. So what if I'm over encumbered? You can climb the stairs, friend. Yeah, that's that's a wasted seagull. Okay, some extra skeleton remains. There we go, and have the wood in here. And let's craft some arrows. Should I go for flaming arrows? No, that's the question. I don't think I have enough time today. The day is almost done and it's almost finished. So we'll just go for some regular. Oh no, I'm gonna miss it. Oh. Shoot! I was gonna say so many things there. I'm glad I didn't. I'm only gonna go 100 of these and I'm gonna... Yeah, let's quickly, quickly grab the defenses. Oh, she's back. I think it's a she, I don't know. Might be wrong. But every single time... Yeah, no, the time is up. It's nightfall, I'm not gonna stay out at night. Because why have increased enemy rate? When you can just sleep in peace. Okay. It's another day and I have just five more minutes left of this episode before um, reaching the time limit imposed by myself and I. So I'm gonna have to wrap, wrap up things here. Yes, it's still dark. It's an amazing view, even if it's in the morning. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. I see you there. 
I see you going for my bees. That was a clear attempt to rob me of my bees. There are three deer in his year, so just there are too many deer. Okay, so that's all the time I have for now for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And let me get this. Let me get rid of these boar. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Where we're gonna do some um, wall building around our base. And we can actually at this point, and I'll say start exploring the Black Forest, going for some dungeons and everything. But yeah, everything. So all of that in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.